Normally, for visiting the sea in Jordan, the tourists book a day trip from Amano Petra to float in the salty water of the sea or to stay one night at the coast only, as it's the most expensive accommodation in the entire country. We booked two nights at the Hotel Mujib Chalet, located a short distance from Mujib Adventure Center and the entrance to the stunning Mujib Canyon and River Hike that I talked about in my previous video. The Mujib Chalet is a small complex of 15 double rooms with breathtaking coastal views, which is run by the Jordanian Royal Society for the Conservation of Nature, designed for the visitors to Wadi Mujib. The chalet cost is 90 dinars per night, including breakfast, and each chalet offers a shaded sun terrace, air conditioning, and the usual amenities. There are no shops around, not even a vending machine. The next village is far away, so if you want to have a dinner, it's offered in the chalet restaurant for 14 dinars per person extra. The Dead Sea is a salt lake with no outlet streams. It's bordered by Jordan to the east and Israel to the west. The lake surface is 430 meters below sea level, making its shores the lowest land-based elevation on Earth. It's one of the world's saltiest bodies of water, ten times saltier is the ocean, and has a density which makes swimming similar to floating. A small path takes you downhill to the narrow and rocky beach of the Dead Sea. The whole complex is surrounded by wind, mountains and water, nothing else. The chalet occupies a thing of land that just into the sea, offering sunset views of the Promised Land. Do you remember the biblical story about Sodom and Gomorrah, where two cities were destroyed by God for their wickedness? It's believed to be located here, on a hill, along the southeastern part of the Dead Sea. A pillow of salt named Lot's wife, a disobedient woman who was turned into a pillow of the salt, for looking back to see the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, as she and her family were fleeing. Now you're probably wondering where we're heading next. We hired a car with a driver who was a receptionist at Mujib Chalet, and heading to Danubai's Fee Resort with a stop in Kerak Castle on the way. Our driver proposed to show us his farm, where he and his partner are growing different kinds of vegetables. This metal container used to be a place where he stayed when his shift at chalet is finished, and he needed to spend the time at the farm. Now he's renovating it, planning to rent it out for the tourists on a budget, who wish to stay near the Dead Sea. Originally, his home is located on another side of the canyon, and he started his career as a hiking guide. When he was offered a job at Mujib Chalet, he was hiking over the canyon every time when he needed to be at work. The King's Highway in Jordan is a historic road that runs from the north to the south and is dotted with significant landmarks, biblical sites and stunning viewpoints. It was mentioned in the Bible as the road that Moses asked permission to cross after leading the Israelites out of Egypt. Mix of fresh orange juice with a pomegranate is the best way to chill on a hot day before exploring medieval castle. Kerak Castle is an ancient fortress and is one of the most important castles in the region. It has been a major stronghold for centuries. 
It was first built during the Crusader era in 1142 by Pagan de Butler, a Crusader lord. It was initially constructed as a small fortification to protect the area from Muslim forces. Over time, it grew into a much larger castle with multiple towers and walls designed to protect the city from attack. Its strategic position transforming it into a wealthy center of power not only for military purposes, but the steady collection of taxes from the trade caravans heading to Jerusalem. The eventual passage of power to Reynold of Châtillon hastened the end of the Crusaders' reign at Kerak Castle, with the fortress eventually falling under Muslim rule, following a drawn-out siege by Saladin, the Sultan of Egypt and Syria in 1188. Over the interceding years, various fortifications have been added and removed, destroyed and restored by the dark rough volcanic rock of the Crusader architecture, existing mostly on the upper level, while slate Arab additions are easily identifiable by the chunky white limestone elsewhere. Today, Gera Castle is one of Jordan's most popular tourist attractions due to its long history and impressive architecture. It includes two main towers and several smaller ones, connected by an intricate network of walls and tunnels, spanning three levels inside the fortress. If you enjoyed watching the video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.